Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with Star Wars The Force Awakens Black Series Poe Dameron. Reading from the package in back, an ace pilot Poe Dameron is a leader in the Resistance's fight against the evil First Order. He soars into battle behind the controls of a modern X-Wing fighter. Here is Poe out of packaging, and with Captain Phasma proving to be a bit of a flop, it seems the tide has turned in Poe's favour. Half the internet is declaring him a badass. Now watching the movie, he didn't do anything to prove that to me, but then unlike Phasma, he didn't prove he wasn't, so that's enough for those who want to clutch at straws to declare him the new Han Solo. Meanwhile, the other half of the internet, much to my amusement, is shipping Poe and Finn, fanning that fire Finn did wear. Poe's jacket like that girlfriend who declares your favourite t-shirt as her new sleepwear. Speaking of that jacket, this is of course not the first Poe in the 6 inch black series, the first coming wearing that jacket in a two pack with the riot control first order stormtrooper. I'll be up front by saying that one is by far in my opinion the better Poe, I'll get into just why in this review. But first let's pay a compliment to the X-Wing pilot version. The sculpt of it is good with naturalistic to it, complete with even a surface texture of the fabric. And lots of more obvious detail beyond that with the straps, their buckles, the pockets, the flight vest, which has been the recipient of a paint wash, giving it a warning feeling of this not being Poe's maiden voyage in this uniform. Lots of screen accuracy going on, down to the starbird symbol of the Rebel Alliance, or Resistance as it is in The Force Awakens. Different names, same game. But where this all comes to a screeching, the whole is with that head sculpt. Comparing it to the previous Poe and these can't be the same head sculpt, can they? If in fact they are, it goes to show what a difference the application of deco can make. The hair colour of the X-Wing Poe is entirely too light and the face, they don't even look like the same person. I guess if you squint they look alike enough to be brothers. That is, if one brother is Jake Fratelli from the Goonies and the other is Sloth. So yeah, when I reviewed the two-pack Poe I don't remember being particularly glowing about it then, but that was before I held this X-Wing Poe in my hand and gazed upon it to realise that back with reviewing the two-pack one I was staring a gift horse in the mouth. A compliment I will give is that the deco conveys the five o'clock shadow very well, but beyond that the face sculpt reminds me of Garfield with a lifeless, heavy eyelid sleepiness to it. Moving on, but not jumping ahead to the articulation, but I will mention that these gloved hands just rotate at the top of the gloves. In fact they are removable at that point of articulation and can be interchanged for these ungloved hands. Once swapped in, these hands retain the rotation at the peg where the gloved ones did, then additionally rotate again at the wrist and unlike the gloved hands, have a wrist hinge. Then he comes with a small blaster as an accessory which both of his right hands are sculpted posed with a trigger finger to hold it. Unusually on the right hand, his wrist hinges on the inside and outside of the wrist, moving the hand in and out, whereas in the Black Series hands designed to wield weapons are usually hinged at the top and bottom of the wrist to hinge up and down to allow for more practical posability of a hand brandishing a weapon. The gloved hand, although it is trigger fingered with the blaster in his hand, points awkwardly down. Then the blaster can also be stowed away on his belt. He does also come with his helmet. At first I thought this was the same as the one that came with the two-pack Poe with a different deco, yet under closer inspection you can clearly see the mic part of the first one extends much further than the second one. Let's now place the helmet on as at the very least it'll shield my eyes from part of his terrible face sculpt. Beyond that, I like the helmet, as while the actual suit is very reminiscent of those worn by Luke and others in the original trilogy, the helmet differs matching the dynamic black and orange of Poe's X-Wing from The Force Awakens, so giving the familiar a fresh feel which really aptly sums Episode 7. Now looking at articulation and his head rotates side to side, he's able to look down, hmm, slightly and then he's able to look up, well not really at all, it's inhibited by the collar of the uniform. At the shoulder he's able to do a full rotation and the arm hinges up to about a right angle to the body, there's rotation at the elbow and then the lower arm sadly just hinges to less than a right angle to the upper arm. We've discussed the wrist articulation, then cleverly his flight vest is hiding a diaphragm joint which does rotate but doesn't really seem to move forward or backward, only really very slightly 
slightly. Looks like he would have waist rotation, but doesn't seem to move there. At the hips, his legs don't move out very much at all, but they move much further forward and then don't really move back. There is upper leg rotation, followed by a double jointed knee. Then at the ankle, it's hinged, moving the foot backwards and moves further forward than I've ever seen, I think. Plus it has an ankle rocker pivot that I love. Yeah, owing to the lack of articulation at the hips, he's not able to take full advantage of that ankle pivot, with this being him posed in his widest stance possible still with both feet flat on the floor. So all things considered, and if you're looking for the best Poe, I'd plump for the two-pack one. Yet yeah, some folks are into Star Wars for the spaceship, so the X-Wing uniform might appeal. If so, you could do a head swap, yet the necks of each figure are quite different in length, leaving the two-pack head on the X-Wing body looking a little no-neck, and the X-Wing head on the two-pack body suffering from a slight giraffe neck. The two-pack head on the X-Wing body is more passable, but would mean you'd lose what little neck hinge was there to begin with. Anyway, a bromance takes two, so click the video on the left if you missed my look at Finn. Alternatively, click the video on the right as the Guavian Enforcer awaits. And I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.